The, there are a lot of hard-working horses in this, and none more so than the top one, Nokaribo. He's equally effective over hurdles as he is over fences. He goes on any type of ground. He's got top weight of 11 stone 12, and he'll still give you a good run for your money. Working title doesn't go. Duke of Looker, been looking for a bit of form. Um, was a good horse last year, 25 to 1, looks well enough today. Mo Basher, um, who's um, been third in a triumph and was fourth in this a couple of years ago. Probably grounds a little bit quick for him. Now, Michael Phillips, who ran well in the Coral Cup, he had been uh, trained for this race, 20 to 1 for Nick Schofield and Andrew Tonal. So, moving on, Paws and Claws, the festival winner last season for Emma Lavelle, won the uh, Martin Pipe uh, Conditional Jockeys Championship. Not so good, been mixing chasing as well, has got something to prove. Cape Aramis has won this race in the past. This is his first run in a handicap for ages. I think he'll give a, you a good run for your money. Lush Life, forget his run last time out. He'd been very progressive before that. Barra Fundle, you've heard about. He's had a break because he got a cup when he won at Newbury. But he'd be most progressive before that. Guanaco, Ryan Mann taking five off. A horse who was a, a better chaser, but shaped well in the qualifier for here. Number 11 is Essex, one of many Irish runners. Uh, he didn't uh, set the world of fire in the qualifier at Punchestown, but he's a really good horse in his day, winner of a Toad Cole Trophy and a big hurl at Leperstown. And if he got back to his best, he could spring a bit of a surprise. Yeah, the next two, Mr. Moonshine, Tower Blaze, both been uh, fencing, but both uh, got plenty of ability. Whether good enough today or not, we don't know. Buena Vista won this last year, second the year before. Looks fantastic, 20 to 1 for Connor O'Farrell. And Barwell Bridge, uh, quite a few people fancied him. Be great to see him run well for Wayne Hutch and Warren Greytrex. They were uh, disappointed with Knight Pass's performance in the bumper last night. Alfie Spinner has had a half a dozen really good runs in handicaps. He last won off 115. He's now off 138, which must be really frustrating for connections. He went up eight pounds for running very well at Sandown last time. Viking Blonde, hard to fancy him and what he's been doing. Yeah, 18 Rivage Door uh, looks a picture in the paddock. Uh, young Brian Cooper taking five off him. Uh, he ran well in the qualifier at Punchestown and then won a three mile hurl at Nays. Stays, travels well. Hill might be a question mark. Number 19, Savata Willie Mullins has caught the eye when he ran in the qualifier at Leperstown. Decent horse in his day, nice weight in his back, 9 to 1. Sonna Mix, big chance for Tom Cooper and Paul Carberry. Uh, ran well here before in the Fred Winter last year with this race in mind. Ran well in the qualifier as well. Big shout there, number 20. Don't push it, of course, the Grand National winner. Hasn't got the greatest record round here, but Jim thinks he's got a chance this afternoon. So did AP McCoy, if you listen to him. Keros Blue, will he save the trip, Ted? Well, he ran well here when uh, Henry brought him over to run. The trip might be a question mark, but he ran a cracker here and uh, sure to run well again. All Henry's horses run well. 23, Heavenly Blue's my own. If he gets the trip, he'll run a big race, first time competitively over three miles, ran the qualifier at Punchestown, but ran well since at and, Punchestown. And the only grey horse in the field is Chartreux. Uh, just one run so far this season, finished behind two stable companions, Ash Kassar and Junior. Well, as Ted Walsh pointed out on the morning line, don't push it in here with 10 stone five, absolutely extraordinary. It's a much better class horse than this. Got 11 stone 10, of course, to carry in the John Smith's Grand National. Put in here at 14 to one. It was double carpet, 33 to one with John Power, uh, with Paddy Power this morning. And it's now six to one against Chartres, female. Look out for not only don't push it, Rivage Door and Son of Mix and a negative Savota. I catches Alfie Spinner and Rivage Door in the paddock. Nokara Bow, particularly good on the way to post. A lush life and Barra Funnel in the betting ring. Savota a negative. Savota also a negative on the exchanges. Rivage Door and Sonomix popular on the exchanges. Just under two circuits to cover for this attempts final. Various qualifiers during the season for this race. And last year's winner, Buena Vista, running at his seventh festival. They're coming in, and away they go. And Nakara Bo and Jean Faltejek go on into the lead as they race downhill to the first Buena Vista. And Conor O'Farrell is close up, though, with also Viking Blonde, Barra Fundle in a pink jacket, and Lush Life towards the outside. And Buena Vista, last year's winner, led there over the first. They all land safely. Buena Vista from in second, Nakara Bo. Then uh, in third is Barra Fundle, Lush Life Viking Blonde, then Cave Aramis, another pass winner back in 2009 in the green jacket from Paws and Claws. And at the back there, Queros Blur was pretty slow and trails the field. On to the next, Buena Vista. Hands about four lengths clear. Chartreur is the grey in the centre of the field, light blue jacket. The 
hotly fancied David Pipe train runner Tom Scudamore in the saddle as they now take this left hand turn going up the hill and it is Buena Vista from Nakara Bow, Viking Blonde and Barra Fundle Handy Lush Life then uh, Kay Faramis, Alfie Spinner towards the inside of Paws and Claws and then Chartreur and Guanaco's out very wide at the moment, jumping this one, don't push it. And Tony McCoy in the white cap towards the outside, it just bet better than midfield at this early stage. Amongst the back markers, Heavenly Blues, Queros Blur, and uh, also at the back is uh, Savota and Ruby Walsh, and Michael flips towards the rear with Sonomix as well, and Barwell Bridges held up towards the back with Rivage Door as they now race around the top left-hand turn, and Buena Vista in front here from Barra Fundal in the noseband. Nokan Rabo on the inside, Lush Life and Kaif Aramis. Viking Blonde and Paws and Claws and then Guanaco. Meanwhile, back on the inside uh, is Mr. Moonshine now in the dark blue jacket on the right there. Dark, the raw blue sleeves, Alfie Spinner is alongside Mr. Moonshine with Chartreur. Essex is in the centre of the field with Tara Blaze. Uh, don't push it away to the left on the outside. And then Rivage Door is further back. Duke of Luca towards the inside as they straighten up now and race uh, on the long run to the next flight, which will be the last after another circuit. Still towards the rear are Queros Blur and Heavenly Blues. They're both in yellow with a red cap. And then right out the back, Savota. Sonomix also towards the back with Barwell Bridge. On to the next then, right in front of the stands. Buena Vista is going to take off in front by the look of things again from Nokarabo on the inside. Great jump by the leader. Barra Fundle in third. Then Viking Blonde from Chartra and Lush Life who gets bumped along. Kay Faramis is next from Mr. Moonshine. And then Tara Blaze and Guanaco reminders for Lush Life. Alfie Spinner's up the inside wide is Paws and Claws wide of Don't Push It, then Rivage Door. Further back is Essex just outside Alfie Spinner. Then Duke of Luca, Mobasha towards the inside. And then Sonomix together with Barwell Bridge, Querios Blur, Heavenly Blues and Savota. Running down the hill at the end of a circuit, just over a circuit covered. Buena Vista and Nokara Bow going to take this together. Another beautiful jump by Buena Vista, though. Really enjoying it. And Lush Life has been pulled up. Just didn't travel passing the stands through the dummy out. In third, Barra Fundal, Viking Blonde on the near side. Kay Faramis is being driven along in the green jacket now by Sam Twist and Davis as they clear the next. Uh, Michael Flips in yellow colours is in quite a good position now. Chartra just ahead of him with Tara Blaze. But meanwhile, Buena Vista from in second Nokara Bow. Mr. Moonshine is coming under pressure. Duke of Luca is also being pushed along. Sonomix is improving a bit from the back. Savota is also improving under Ruby Walsh, but it's Buena Vista who's made all the running so far as they head towards the third last flight, but a long way out. And Buena Vista from in second Nokara Bow. On the outside, Barra Fundle's always been handy. Red Jacket up the inside, Viking Blonde. Then Chartra and Michael Flips and Tyler. Tara Blaze and Guanaco. Rivage Door is one that's getting into it now in the maroon jacket. Michael O'Leary's maroon colours. Then Sonomix, a grey and green colours as they run round the final turn. Well, Buena Vista, he's 10 years old, but he's not showing it. He's showing tremendous enthusiasm out in front. He's jumped well and he's got them on the stretch at the moment here. Buena Vista, one or two being pushed along behind. Barra Fundle is in trouble. Viking Blonde is driven. Still second, Nokara Bow with Tara Blaze now making ground in the Waitley colours, the dark blue with the lighter sleeves as they race down towards the second last. Can Buena Vista hold on? There's plenty of potential challenges. Here's two out. Buena Vista's over in front. In second, Tara Blaze, Nokara Bow. Then Chartra, the grey on the inside, Viking Blonde. Look at Sonomix now coming through in the dark green jacket, but Buena Vista still has a handy lead on this lung-bursting run towards the final flight. And it's Buena Vista who's the one to catch again here at Cheltenham. Tara Blaze is second. Sonomix now goes into second. Ahead of Tara Blaze. Then Narkara Bow. From the rear running on it is Queros Blur. But down towards the final flight, Buena Vista, his seventh appearance at the Cheltenham Festival. Can he hold on here and repeat last year's win? He's got a lead of six lengths at the last. A brilliant jump under Conno Farrell again. Sonomix is second. Savota running on strongly for Ruby Walsh now, but still has seven lengths to find on Buena 
Vista and Buena Vista is going to win again at Cheltenham and what a performance from the front in second it was just Sonomix from Savota who came through late uh, tight for fourth as well between Nakara Bow and Queros Bleu then Barwell Bridge followed by Heavenly Blues who made up late ground don't push it Rivage Door, Michael Flips, Chartreux, Tara Blaze, K. Faramis, Guanaco, Viking Blonde, Barrafundal, Mobasha, Duke of Luca, Alfie Spinner, Paws and Claws, Essex further back, and Mr. Moonshine. Well, what a performance by this horse, Buena Vista, who won last year. He was second in 2009. He was fifth in this race in 2008. He ran in the Arkle in 2007, was third to Noland in the Supreme in 2006, and even ran in the Bumper way back in 2005. He's run well every year. He's now a dual festival winner. Great ride from Connor O'Farrell. All credit here to the David Pipe team. What a training performance and what a horse he is. Well, Connor, he may have been here seven times, but this is your first visit to the festival and your first ever ride and you've made it a winning one. Yeah. If I'm speechless, really, to be honest, I just can't thank Mr Pipe and the owners enough for giving me the chance. I mean, he did everything for me. I was a passenger on him. Like, he travelled, he jumped. Every, every time I asked him to pick up, he was superb. I mean, he knows his way around here better than anyone at this stage. I should think when he first came here seven years ago, you were still at school and not even thinking about riding. You look about 12 now. Yeah. Well, seven years ago, I probably thought I was going to be a footballer. <laughs> but, um, no, I got into racing, asked me.